As plans and proposals unfold that would radically change policing methods in some U.S. cities, calls for reform are being heard here in Toronto as well. One city councillor plans to move a motion at this month's city council meeting that would ask for a 10% cut to the massive $1.22 billion police budget. Because we are getting calls from our community that things need to change. What I'm trying to do is open a door that hasn't been opened before because uh, the police have never been open to having this conversation. And I'm trying to start this conversation in earnest. And it's much bigger than us. This is happening in every city around the world right now. Matt Lowe's motion, seconded by Kristen Wong Tam, would see $122 million reallocated to more proactive initiatives and community based programs that help at risk youth that tackle the roots of violence and support black, indigenous, and racialized communities. To actually rebalance our priorities into our communities and acknowledge that while we definitely need the police to do good work. There's not always a situation where the police are the best equipped to address them. Sometimes it actually escalates the situation and we have to actively hear that and then act on what we learn. Matlow says defunding does not mean a lack of support for police and not necessarily fewer uniformed officers on the street. He thinks savings can be found in other areas. In addition to the 10% funding cut, Matlow would like to see changes that would give City Council a line-by-line -line accounting of the police budget and have more say about how the money is spent. That would require an amendment by the province to the Police Services Act. The head of Toronto's police union doesn't agree with any aspect of this motion, calling it ridiculous. To say that we're just going to take money, a 10% cut from police and, and put it to this, these social uh, agencies um, makes no sense at all. I, I agree that we needed to have a strong social fabric, a strong social net. But that should be funded on the merits of those programs. But advocates say this sort of reform is not a new idea. They've been pushing for a rebalancing of police funds for years to divert them into programs that may better serve the community. One area in particular is when police respond to mental health calls. So if you're funding them to respond to issues around mental health and they're not trained, then they're going to use military tactics. They're going to use aggressive forces to deal with mental health which could lead to unintended negative consequences mm -hmm. and particularly when you put the whole issue of race and racism over that then it becomes an explosive situation. While some groups have said a 10% funding cut to the police budget is not nearly enough, others, including on City Council and Mayor John Tory, have not supported any cut at all. Josh Matlow recognizes that it could be an uphill battle to get this motion passed. I'm Pam Seidel, City News.